Yo, man, we got something to talk about today. This is Fireman and Trash with PD Stud. Let's go. <laughs> okay, first off. <laughs> It's Petey Stunt, and I'm back. I know, I know, I've been gone. I've been gone for way too long, but this is a special edition, okay? This is the Petey Stunt Stunt House. Yes, the studio isn't up yet, isn't in running, but hey, we're going to talk about Fireman and Trash. I got to give one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got to give one for SmackDown tonight. Hold on. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. That is good. All right. So before we get into it, I just want to say, Vegas nice baby, Golden Knights, all the champs. Yes, all the champs. All right, so I ain't going to hold you guys. I'm going to get straight into it. You know how I am. I'm straight cutthroat, straight through the point, straight give you the facts. Facts, baby. Tonight, SmackDown, we're going to talk about trash. Let's get on trash first, all right? So, first thing's trash. I have to say, I'm going to have two of them. I'm going to have two. I'm gonna, I am I got to give you a two for one. Uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, tag team match. I didn't like it. Yes, I did not like it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You guys might have loved it. Thought it was the bomb. But I did not like it. I did not like that tag team match. Uh, it didn't do much for me. Um, it, it didn't make sense. That gauntlet. It wasn't a real gauntlet to me. You know, I'm thinking of the Attitude Era days of gauntlets. You know, you beat a mother, you you beat one down, the next one come running out. That whole, everybody sitting in the chair playing music of chairs. I didn't like that. It's too cookie cutter for me. I'm sorry. I didn't like that. And the way they just did Street Profits. Come on, man. Come on. First to get eliminated? Oh, that's trash. That's trash. Mm, mm, mm. But anywho, uh, I have to get that one to trash. Sorry. Uh, did not do much for me. And LWO just keep taking the loss, bro. Yeah. Ugh, they keep taking loss. Mm. Besides on the women's side, okay, that match was also trash. Um, we're talking about Selena Vega and EO Sky. Um, I, I'm sorry. It's the women's division is just corny right now. It's it's corny right now. It's it's trash. I'm sorry. That that I feel like they need to go ahead and take Eel Sky out of damage control. Okay, honestly, Eel Sky is the best out of the whole entire little stable that they have. She's the best. Need to go ahead and put that to bed. Put that to rest. I need that done at Money in the Bank. Uh, Eel Sky needs to turn on Bailey, or Bailey turns on her. Whatever. Eel Sky needs to get away from damage. Because she, it doesn't even fit her. She's way better than that. I'm sorry, way better than that. Uh, Bailey, trash. Uh, Dakota Kai, trash. So, EO Sky's way better than that, and I'm gonna say that's trash. All right. So we're gonna move on to the mid section of the show. Let's go. Mid. Hmm. Mid part of the show. <laughs> oh man, what can I give mid? I will have to say, <laughs> oh. Baron Corbin. <laughs> I know it took him. I know y'all like what? What's taking you so long to say it? I don't know, man. Um, I was like, what the hell is going on? Wasn't Baron Corbin sit down to NXT? Wasn't he sit down to NXT? All of a sudden, he just attacks Cameron Grimes. It's like, oh yeah, because he owes him one, right? I don't care. <laughs> I don't know what are they doing? They need to figure out what they're gonna do with Baron Corbin. 
Okay, he's a phenomenal talent, uh, a great wrestler. He um, a great showmanship. He, you know, he he's a good team player. I can say that for the company. He's a very good team player. They just need to figure out what they're going to do with him. Are they going to give him back the lone wolf gimmick? I'm, I will. I wouldn't mind that. Ball headed lone wolf. <laughs> but hey, it, I I got to give that a, a, a mid segment right there. Um, I get it. They trying to bring him. He want to be tough again because he was being punks. Uh, especially by Cam Grimes. No, don't get it twisted. I love Cam Grimes. But it was like, dang, he lost to a, a, a double jumping, excuse me, double jumping knee? Mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm going to have to get that one mid uh, for that segment. Um, what also was mid? I don't know. SmackDown, like I was telling MFG, SmackDown wasn't really bad, man. There wasn't a lot of, like, trash or kind of mid segment. Everything was kind of fire tonight. Um, let's see what else. That's all I can really say. Uh, they gotta fix. They gotta get that together, man. They really gotta figure that one out. Uh, oh, ha, 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 ha. Why? Why is L.A. Knight losing? So if I tell you why, why is he losing? What is going on here? Why is he losing to that dude? Why? LWO's been taking L's, and now y'all want to get him a win. Y'all want to get... Y'all want to give him a win and have L.A. Night... Fantasma, whatever, Enrique, whatever, he's good. But he's not L.A. Night. Why would y'all have him lose? I don't get it. And I'm like, okay, they probably had L.A. Knight lose because L.A. Knight's going to win the money in the bank. That's typically how the WWE route. We all know they very repetitive. They do the same thing every year. So it's just like, oh, man, I can't even drink one of that one. Because I, I was just really disappointed with that. Dang, that might fall back into trash. It was definitely mid because it's L.A. Knight. Um, I don't, I don't never want to put L.A. Knight in a trash category. You know what I'm saying? But that match is falling back. Oh, God darn it. Ugh. They need to stop this. Stop it. He don't have to lose to win the money in the bank. He can just win every match and still win the money in the bank. L.A. Knight's just that damn good. He's good on the mic. He's good in the ring. L.A. Knight's good. Damn it. Let's go on the fire, man. Oh, <laughs> nah, <laughs> you changed my mind there, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fire. I have to say, I, man, oh, God, I, I had to, man, I had to really capture myself because I was like, she went off. She went off. She went off. Bianca Belair, Charlotte Flair, that segment was a bomb. That was bomb. Bianca went off on her. And I'm just like, whoa. I was taken back a little bit. I was like, wait a second here. She is killing it. What? What? Whoa. Where is this? I feel a little hillish right there. I don't know. I think they tweening on it. She's she's like tweening a little bit. You know, kind of in between of being good and being bad. And I, I like the promo, man. She said, Charlotte couldn't really say anything. Because she's right. Bianca is right. You get back to, you get the comeback, right? After being gone, after this girl done defended the title for the whole entire year, you get to come back and get a title shot right off the back? Come on. I get it. You're Charlotte. But hey, you ain't Bianca. Hmm. You might be a 14 time champion, but you lost the 14 times. Bianca got the title. She was she's three times or two times? Two times, I think. And she's held the title for almost two years. If she would have kept going, she would have whole entire year. She's the greatest women's champion of the mining area. And that is the truth. That was fire the way she went off on her dome. Ooh, y'all gotta, y'all gotta admit that one. That was fire. That was fire. The way she went off. And she dropped that mic. That was cold. That was cold. You know what, Bianca? You know what? I'm drinking another one for you. Oh. Oh. 
She get that. She can have that. She can have that. That one was fire. Um, what else was fire? Oh man. You know what's crazy? Y'all might not to me, my personal opinion, you probably gonna dog me out. But the AJ Styles and Karrion Cross match, I was I was watching that match like this match is fire. I mean, it wasn't long. It definitely was a short match. But I was like, between them two, count take the girls out. AJ and Karen and Cross, they can they can put on a show if they really want to. Because AJ is a great international talent. Karen Cross is a great international talent. Them two together, locking horns. Mm, they can tell the story. They can tell the story. They can tell the story. I want to. I wanted to see a little bit more. Uh, I wish the match would have went just a teeny bit longer, but I was satisfied with that. To me, that match was fire. It's AJ's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. So any match he's gonna be, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm gonna say it's fire because he's AJ. You know what I mean? So what can you say? Uh, and lastly, but not least. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that main segment. Mm -mm -mm. You Oh, wait. I'll tell you what's fire. Let's go back. Fire was, um, uh, what's the guys, my, one of my favorite tag teams right now? Pretty Deadly. I love them guys. I don't know. Some people don't like them. Some people kind of compare them to a little bit of the young, maybe a slight early young bugs, uh, Chuck. And, and Billy type thing, but them guys is good to be honest with you. They can put on the match. They can really put on the match. So uh, yeah, them doing a segment with um, uh, 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 Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn to me, I that was that was that was fire because I like to see when Kevin Owens he was trying to hold it in. He was trying to hold it in so hard, and he was just he couldn't take it no more. He was like, ah, I just want to punch him in the face. I like that. That was fire to me. That was fire to me. Them, them guys. That's gonna be a really good match um, when they when they uh, set the takeoff in in London. But anywho, so uh, the main the main event. It wasn't even a match. It was just a very good storytelling promo. Very good. Very good, man. Oh man. Um, oh Jay. Oh my God, Jay Uso. <laughs> oh, me and the lady we was watching. She, she, she even had to tune in and sit there and watch the entire segment with me. Oh man, we were just sitting there, just watching how the story just being played out. How from the time Roman enters, you know, comes out on the ramp, does his entrance, you know, so the time he does that until uh, Jay comes out. Oh man, it was just every minute of that story was so great, and I like the I like the attention to detail what they did with Jay backstage when Sammy's just sitting on top of a, a a pile of whatever crap, and Jay walks past him, looks him up and down like, you know what I gotta do, Roos, and then he <laughs> he just and, and Sammy looks at him and was like, yeah, Roos. You gotta do it, yeah. And I'm just like, okay, I feel like Jay is gonna make a decision that's gonna affect the entire bloodline. And Jay did just that when he got to that ring. Uh, he he said his piece. Roman did mo most of the talking through their uh, interaction. Roman did most of the talking. Uh, you know, he was just telling Jay, well, you know, hey man, you my right hand man. You know, what I'm saying you gonna be the leader one day. You gonna be the champ one day, and then all of a sudden uh, he's like, "Yeah, but who's holding you back?" Pretty much, he's saying, "Who's holding him back is his brother Jimmy, right?" And I'm just like, "Oh man, it's getting spicy," and I'm and I'm thinking about like, "Damn, where is Jimmy at?" Hmm, interesting. So I was like, "Man, this is getting spicy." Mm, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before I get before I finish this one, I gotta get. <laughs> This for you, Jay. Mm. So Jay's just standing in the ring, right? Just standing there. You know, he does his pacing back and forth. Oh, man. I'm going to do cut. I'm going to do oost. And he's just standing there. And then out comes Jimmy. 
Jimmy comes out to the ring. Jimmy tell him like, "Look, man, you, I'm your brother. You know what I'm saying? I'm your brother. We, I'm your twin. We are family. We are brothers, brothers. Yeah, that's our cousin. He our family. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, what up, cuz? But I'm your brother who was born together. <laughs> I'm your twin. You know what I'm saying? You know." How you can't? Why would you choose him over over me? I've been I've been thugging it out with you in in in, in uh, uh in wrestling and in, in in real life outside of wrestling. So I've been thugging it with you, bro. Come on now, it's me, Jimmy. It's your boy. And then woman's like, "Oh man, you know, we talking this junk." He's like, "Yeah, you know, hey, tell him, wise man." Here comes Paul him. Yes, my child, I love you so much. I, I love you. I just want to hug you. I want to I wanna kiss you. I, I love your beard. Ooh, let me touch you. Ooh. So he comes up there, and he's just telling. He's like, uh, Roman's like, yeah, so tell him. Tell him who's jealous, pretty much. Who's jealous of Jay the whole time. Paul Heyman's like, it was Jimmy. <laughs> it's Jimmy. I'm gonna snitch. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my peace. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to stay in the group. <laughs> I'm a snitch. That bad right now. So he tells him, "Oh, uh, yeah, it was you know him or whatever." So Jay just go off. I love that. Jay start going off. Jay just going at him, going at Jimmy, bro. How you gonna whoop 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 whoop? Yada 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 yada. He's saying all this. He's like, man, yeah, you was a prime king. You was a prime prince. You was, you was the Mac Daddy. We, we getting all the girls. Woo, woo, woo. And he was like, you know what? You could get out. And you know what? Don't even trip. I'm going to. Boom. Super kick the hell out of Roman. Ooh, woo. I stood on my feet. I, st- I sure did. I stood on my feet. I clapped my hands. Mm. I was like, that was a cold segment. That is the most fire in the entire story, the entire bloodline. The, it intertwines with everything from Sammy, Kevin, everything. It all just came together full circle. And now everybody's starting to leave Roman. Solo, super kicked him. Boom. I'm like, dang, they're going to do little brother like that? Little brother, he young. He messed up. His mind ain't even in the right place. He thinking Roman gonna take. He like, well, shoot, Roman helping me eat, so I gotta stay with him. I'm gonna betray my brothers. See, that's the problem. See, that's what's wrong with Oos. We can't. We we see. We're supposed to stick together. But hey, what can you say? So that segment was fire, bro. Like they they super kicked Roman. Okay. Boom, Roman's like, hey, why you hit me? You hit me in the face. What's going on with you? Why you hit me? Uh, I'm your cousin. They was like, oh, you still talking. You still up. You still breathing. Boom. Gave him one last shot to the chrome dome. Cacao. Bow. And that was the end of that. That was the end of that. They pimped off. They hit him with them. We the real ones. Huh. Pimped off. That was fire. That was the fire thing of the whole entire SmackDown. SmackDown was not a bad show. Uh, they put on some some decent matches. Uh, the segments were uh, decent up until the, uh, the ending. Uh, that last segment was just fire, man. Um, I just, God, I just, I need them to figure something out with this women's division. It's just all over the goddamn place. Just all over the place. Just everywhere. So, um, they get that figured out with that. And I, you know what? Before we leave, before we check out of here, right? I want to say one thing. I want to see a heel Bianca Belair. I want to see a heel Montez and uh, Angelo Dawkins. I want to see that for some reason. I think they're tickling with it. I'm hoping they try to pull something out of the hat and bring that together. That's what it's seeming to come like because Street Profits is losing matches. Bianca can't get her rematch. Might as well try and heal, right? Uh, so, look, this has been a, a really special edition. PD Stunt, I'm back. 
Um, I'm working on the stunt house. Yes, the stunt house. That is the going to be the new show for PD Stunt, uh, where I'm going to do all the coverage on SmackDown. I'm going to do the coverage for Collision, for the AEW. Um, yeah, we got a lot of things in works, guys. A lot of things in works. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me do this for you guys. I, I love everybody. Mm. Woo! That's good stuff. So, um, uh, the lighting is a little off because my uh, camera lighting, it, it kind of, whatever. But who cares? Hey, I'm back, baby. Woo! <laughs> um, so, yeah, we got a lot of stuff in the works, guys. Uh, just tune in to us. This has been a Friday night trash mid fire fire mid trash segment you hanging with your boy pd stunt let's go hey mass gang stay up we the ones and we out